Here's a fun thing. Um, draw a circle on a piece of paper, put a dot somewhere on the perimeter. You have one dot and one area, which is the area of the circle. Okay. Add a second dot. So now you've got a, two areas, the white and the blue, with two dots and a straight line between them. Ah, and up with three dots. Again, positioned anywhere around the circle you like, and three straight lines drawing them gives us four areas, the white and then the three around the outside. Keep on going. Four dots. Now I should point out the rule is that every dot has to connect to every other dot. So we get this pattern, so we get eight areas. Four dots, eight areas, right. Onwards and upwards. Okay, so here we go. Five dots. Now 16 areas, and you have a bit of a problem counting them, but if you want to pause and do it, you can. Um, five dots, 16 areas. Well, supposing I want to go to six dots. Uh, this is getting seriously hard to count. I need an equation. I need some math to tell me how many areas I get from how many dots. Well, here's the table uh, for one, two, three, four, five dots. I get one, two, four, eight, and 16 areas. So, you know, it's pretty much going to be that you're going to say, well, hey, it's simple. Uh, the, air, the number of areas equals two to the power of the number of dots. It doubles every time you add a dot, maybe. Well, that's very interesting, but we haven't proved that that's the case. I mean, we're guessing. I mean, it certainly looks that way, but we're guessing. And actually, if you do it, the number is between 24 and 25, depending on where you position the dots, because that little triangle in the middle tends to disappear. So that wasn't a rule. It just seemed like a rule. And mathematicians have this problem all the time, where they think they've found a clever solution to a problem, but they can't prove it. Uh, and a classic con example of that is the Goldbach conjecture. Goldbach realized that if you take any two, uh, sorry, any even number, uh, you can express it as the sum of two primes. So 24 is 11 plus 13, 42 is 23 plus 19. And that idea, it's not a rule, it's not a law, it's not a theorem, it's a conjecture, has been tested up to tens of thousands of digit long numbers. And in every single case, every even number can be expressed as a sum of two primes. And it's almost certain that he's right, but it's not proven. And just like my example that failed when I got to six dots, his example could fail on a number with a trillion digits. We don't know. We have no way to prove it. Isn't that exciting? Okay, well, thanks very much. That was it for today.